Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Ask the Doc. This week's question goes right along with last week's. Last week was, why do we close our prayer with amen? Someone asked after viewing that episode, why do we close our prayer with in Jesus' name and then amen? So we addressed the amen part last week. This week, we'll look at in Jesus' name. So the question also said, is it just a way to kind of close our prayer like a send-off? Got me thinking, remember the Looney Tunes? I believe it was Porky Pig used to say, that's all, folks. And that meant the show was over. So in Jesus' name, and then amen, doesn't just mean that the prayer has ended. As a matter of fact, it makes a statement of how we actually are to approach God. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 and 15 talk about how Jesus is our high priest. And because he's our high priest in verse 16, it says we can approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. It's because of who Jesus is as our high priest. What does it mean that he's our high priest? It means, if you continue to read through the book of Hebrews, that he did not enter into the most holy place in a tabernacle that was built by man's hands. It means he entered into the most holy place as in the tabernacle of God in heaven to take make payment for all of our sins. So he didn't just cover sin, he paid for sin. Past, present, and future. And because he did, we can approach God's throne of grace with confidence if we come through him and in him. That means we come through the Lord Jesus Christ to approach the Father. This is what I believe Paul meant when he said in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 12, in him. And through faith in Him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. So it's in Christ and faith in what He did for us that allows us to approach the Father in prayer. The Lord Jesus said, Our Father, which art in heaven. This is how we're to pray according to Matthew chapter 6. And as we pray this way, we wrap our prayer up stating that we come to you, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, acknowledging that he is the only way. John chapter 14, verse 6, the Lord Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. If we really look at the context of Jesus' statement there in answer to the question, which was earlier posed in the beginning of that uh, chapter, back up a few verses, and that was, how do we get to heaven? Jesus said, I'm the only way. So that was specifically talking about salvation. So to be saved, we have to come through Jesus. But if we continue through that chapter, in John chapter 14, uh, verses, excuse me, John chapter 14, verses 13 through 14, and also chapter 16, verses 20 through, through, through 24, Jesus continues to elaborate that we come to him not only for salvation, but we come through him also through prayer. Because in those latter verses in John 14 and John 16, Jesus actually says that we are to pray in his name. He says, ask anything in my name and it will be given to you. Of course, this is in context with that as we ask, we're asking according to his will as we talked about in last week's episode. So why do we say amen? As we talked about last week, we're making a declaration that we believe that what we prayed lines up with God's will. And if it doesn't, we're requesting that God's will be done. And we ask in Jesus' name because it is only through Jesus that we can approach God. 1 Timothy 2.5, we have but one mediator, the go-between, between God and man, and that's Christ Jesus. So by saying in Jesus' name, it is declaring God... I understand the only way that I can bring this request to you is through the Lord Jesus. And if we're praying in a crowd of people so that others would be able to benefit from our prayers, naturally we would pray in Jesus' name as a declaration to those that would hear that we come to God the only way that it is possible to come to Him, and that is through the glorious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for your questions, keeping me on my toes as I have to study each week. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Please keep them coming. And whatever you do, remember that God loves you and so do we. Have a great week.